Government soft landings uh, is something built upon, if you've come across, if you Google Bisria soft landings, that's B-S-R-I-A, Bisria soft landings is in effect the forerunner of this and the government liked it so much they brought it into the UK BIM programme. And this actually is the forgotten target, I think, because from 2016 this will be mandatory on public sector projects as well as using UK BIM Level 2. And so the requirement will be on your project, if you're working in the public sector, to have a government soft landings champion in your project team, whether that's a client representative or somebody within your team or another stakeholder. But basically, soft landings is about having a good handover and commissioning, training and aftercare process because we do a lot of good work in the design and construction process and very often it all goes to waste because we're not so good at handing buildings over to people, making sure that all the stuff works, they get the right keys, they've had the right training to use the building management system, all those sorts of things. And this is about government soft landings, um, having a champion in place to ensure that this sort of stuff gets thought about early enough in the project, project to make a difference. So this is the process. Again, uh, same sort of stuff but presented a different sort of way. So we've got the stages again. There's some ac actions to think about in terms of soft landings. These are the actions here and how it works. And of course we're moving into here into something called POE, which is post-occupancy evaluation. Try getting your project team now to go back to a building a year after it was finished and evaluate how it's working. Try and get them to do it after two years and three years because this is what this is requiring because government wants the data so that they can start to benchmark projects and understand how their buildings, their estate is performing. So, so that feeds back into this. Now if we think about the cycle again, it all feeds into the cycle of information. I won't read all that, but there's just a few, I've just taken these from the BIM Task Group website, but it, it's, it's fairly obvious stuff, but there's, the, there's information there on the BIM Task Group website that you can get your head around. <coughs>